Yine çıktın karşıma Ne işler aşkım başıma Artık bitmişti hani Rafet El Roman, a Turkish pop music celebrity, took the stage with Turkish and American flags in hand. He greeted the crowd with peace and friendship messages and performed his most beloved songs to the assembled crowd. <laughs> This year's festival, which included food, music, demonstrations, and interactive activities, in addition to the crafts, drew more than 5,000 people, an even bigger crowd than expected. State Senator Kurt Thompson took the stage and presented a gift to honor El Roman and thanked all the organizers who put effort into making this festival possible to Atlantans. While many of the vendors consider the event one of the best opportunities for introducing themselves to people, this year's festival featured around 30 vendors from neighboring counties. Among them were the Turkey stand at which people were informed and fascinated by the advertisements of Turkey. Many lined up in front of the vendors to taste delicious food from the Turkish kitchen, served along with Turkish coffee. More than 1,000 Ahiskan Turks participated in the festival, and some performed Ahiskan dance in traditional costumes. The event concluded with a lottery drawing for a free flight to Turkey, and an American citizen was the lucky one who won the prize. Turkish singer Muazez Ersoy, who is a diva in Turkey and is said to look a lot like Celine Dion, gave a concert. Along with the concert, visitors and participants enjoyed a number of cultural activities at Huizenga Park. Circassian dance performers fascinated the spectators with their delicate and graceful dances. Also, the whirling dervishes performed the ritual under the supervision of Kamil Tekeliolu. Americans who have been learning Turkish at Anatolian Cultural Center sang in Turkish, entertaining the audience. The visitors had the opportunity to taste Turkish cuisine such as shish kebab, baklava and so much more at the popular food stands. Calligraphic writing, Ebru, which is the art of decorating paper with colorful motifs imitating the veins of stone or marble with a special technique, Turkish copper and brass, and Turkish rug exhibition, were the most interesting activities at the festival. Very nice. The people are wonderful and the food is delicious. Very delicious. And uh, yeah, it's a nice day. There's a lot of people here, like maybe 5,000 people or something. Yeah, well, Excellent. That's why we're here. Actually, we're going to Turkey next year and we wanted to learn more about the culture and the people and more about the food too. And my experience with the Turkish people is that they are the most generous and kindly people on the planet. Thank you very much. Houston City Hall hosted the first ever Turkic festival in Texas with participation of over 7,000 spectators. The event's major sponsor was Raindrop Turkivi, a Turkish non-profit organization that promotes Turkic cultures and heritage throughout their several branches within Texas. The festival received a number of dignitaries which included councilmen, Texas state representatives and consul generals. The Texas House of Representatives was represented by Representative Dr. Alma Allen, who expressed her gratitude and excitement to be at a festival that featured many cultures forming the wonderful mosaic of Texas. The historical Ottoman military band, Nektaran, performed during the two-day-long Turkic Cultures and Children's Festival after visiting several Texas cities. Around 11,000 Texans enjoyed watching and listening to them. Turkish rock pop band Ayna gave two concerts during the festival in downtown Houston in front of the city hall. 
the famous band singer Erhan Gulerius was ecstatic over just how amazingly enthusiastic the crowd of Houstonians were during the concerts. <laughs> Homemade preparations of nearly two dozen different Turkish desserts, 19 various vegetarian meals, 17 meat-based meals, and a handful assortment of Turkish pastries gave this festival a chance to mightily showcase Turkish cuisine and culture in an almost bigger-than-Texas way. With the slogan, Welcome to Turkic World, besides the American people in the festival, there were people with the origins from Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, and Bosnia. Taking the historical relations with these communities into consideration, the festival was an opportunity for these nations to represent their presence and culture to Chicagoans. Since the establishment of Turkish American Society of Chicago, it has been serving these communities by organizing events to observe their national and cultural days, to integrate them to the American society, to educate their children at Sunday schools, and serving as a community center for their social gatherings. The Turkish Ottoman and Kyrgyz tents, the Ottoman Mehteran band, and the traditional Turkish handcrafts were among the ones that drew the attention of the passers-by. The festival concluded with the concert of Turkish group Aina that took the stage in the evening.